Hi everyone. We are in front of an old tree. Is it a real tree? Well, we cannot say anymore. Is it like 3D printed object that has the texture of a tree? Is it some artificial creation of some artist that was made 30 years ago in some kind of virtual reality space? It is actually the dominant ideology that is protecting us to see the nature's ideology of this tree. We will try to find out in this session what are the aspects of this tree from the perspective of the tree and not from the perspective of dominant ideology which actually cannot distinct the concrete object, the real object, and the ideological object that we perceive our reality. So, we will now start with uh, maybe the shapes which we have here. And those shapes are actually the shapes of this tree. So, we will start with something very, let's say, very uh, simple. And by this, we will practically move forward to different location. So those are the trees, typical kind of shapes that people often perceive as a shape of a tree. really a primer shape of something which is called tree or some kind of natural element that we often imagine. So it looks like this. Suddenly we have also something which is practically coming out from this em emancipation of the tree. Because even today we can, uh, we can um, artificially made smell, touch, um, even um, all kind of hyper-realistic uh, elements of this uh, tree or any kind of natural object. So we need now to find uh, another level of emancipation of this tree. And I would say that this is actually related to this ability of the tree to emancipate itself. And we will try to, to find this emancipatory, emancipatory, so to say, uh, shape or the form of this tree. But in the same time, we need to find out the, the symmetry of the tree itself, because we already discussed that symmetry is something which is the first element of the nature's ideology, and it goes away from only thinking of nature as a, some kind of beautiful abstraction. So we need... We will also use here a very simple idea of how to imagine the, the landscape around that. Uh, maybe using just simple green and colors which are going into this direction. Green and yellow and try to think about how we can explore this these elements of green and, and yellow and let's say a bit of a bit of situation with this so we can we can practically try here to also to imitate the structure 
of the tree which is related to this to have this in imitation of it mm -hmm. but we need more so to say uh, light variants of the green because it gives a certain um, stability to and it goes into the direction of more light so you see the tree slowly the shape of the tree actually how the the simplest dominant ideology or the simplest shape of the tree is somehow uh, coming out slowly from this from this canvas and we'll see how we can deal even further with these aspects. So this is on the way of this. It's very good. We can practically try here to To imitate this this abstraction, you see when you when you look like this, you can mimetically try to to distinct those two things. And you can try to use it. So it goes in quite interesting direction. So we will use another. need a certain window of opportunity, window from where this tool of emancipation of the tree's representation in the dominant ideology can move forward and we will try to evoke these shapes and to have it more, more precise then. But before that we need to finish to finish this basic um, tree's uh, outlook, we, which we still didn't finish, so we will try to finish it here. So this will give a good contrast, so I will leave it so unfinished in a way because the drawing this will be completely another aspect that we will then emphasize mm -hmm. of um, slow and light 
touch. This is important because the tree is more, the texture of the tree is more shapey, more wild. Okay, let's see what is going on in another dimension. And in another dimension we have this. This is the blue. And this is typical, this relation between blue and green. And I think this light blue and green are good correlating together. Especially because it belongs to this dominant uh, ideology and how we look at nature. So green is um, is grass and uh, sky is blue and uh, it's trivial but uh, it is good to uh, to you know to touch it you know and uh, to try out from this dominant position to reproduce something completely different a different narrative the nar narrative of the nature's ideology so and to see the aspect of the old tree what is the aspect of um, aspects of um, of emancipation of an old tree? We will see, because this tree is not virtual reality. It is not. This tree is not made. This tree is actually not made by Chinese contemporary artists. And neither it is made by British or American contemporary artists in the 90s, or it's not made by some guy who is just doing it by printing 3D, trying 3D printer in different shapes, in different colors. So it is something which is quite unique. And we will try here to exercise like this. So different greens and different blues are connected here in a very complicated and very violent situation. So, hmm, it looks quite abstract still. We will try this because we need some, some stronger touch here because, because of the tree's ability to be more very strong elements which will give to this tree quite unique outlook. And we will now use this tool which we often use and we will try to Imagine this in a completely another way. Have now. Wow. 
it's very nice and it's very good it's very nice and, and good background for going into drawing and accentuation and we must do this drawing and accentuation right now because if we don't do it it will stay unfinished and the whole idea of showing this ideology of will disappear and we will not have We will not have final word on it. So we have the first neutral accentations and now we will go with white. White is important because it gives light. And we need light in this image. We don't have enough light. We will use special new brush for this. Interesting how light is appearing in the image and what it will bring to us. We need also some light accents on the tree because the tree is not without light. It is old, but it needs light as well. <laughs> so, we are now approaching to this. And, mm, yeah, I think we can now start to to uh, to draw. Okay. So those are the extensions of the tree, and with the, those extensions, the tree is. Communicating. It is not so um, proper to say that tree is communicating. Tree is communicating nothing, you know. Tree is just showing the form. And through this form, we can recognize another ideological patterns and aspects. Very 
nicely done. And here as well. Like this. show this power of the extension of the tree and also try to use this power in a different way And also using some other colors and to make it more clear and more Those are the patterns which are slowly becoming visible to us or maybe we can also take some some bigger Stable possibility which will practically position this tree's format and its own ideology. So this is something tree now can see as stabilizate, stabilizate, stabilization factor which actually make stable this whole Base and rep all representation is now becoming, let's say, new and completely outdated. So this is what is happening. And here we need one really, really strong stabilizing factor. And to express actually, actually what this extension here is doing, by concretizing this, this extension, and this extension is here.
16,000 is practically there. And I hope it's very clear that now we need to imagine one last touch, which is actually related to this tree, in order to understand nature's, to imagine and to understand what is this emancipatory element or aspect of the nature's ideology of this old tree. When I look this, I can see it here, some kind of um, some kind of uh, black star. So we will now here correct this, or connect this better, this touch of the extension and this ability to to work more and maybe to add few more aspects of of white, direct. To have more plastical aspects in this format and to have it more connected with this extension or even here a bit or even here to have it much better here connected because it's not clear how it's coming out from the tree and here or maybe just to give some few elements here that can work out. But this is never good to be so mechanic, so we need to correct this a bit. Maybe last. Elements that can be better shaped here. So, in order to be fu fully satisfied, 
to say yes, that's it. We are happy with this tree and with the extension of the tree. Okay. Okay. I would say that we are almost finished. Not almost, but I, we are coming to an end. And I hope that we managed to answer the question of what are the aspects of no tree which are not related to the dominant ideological forms. And I hope you join us in the next sessions where we can also discuss the nature's ideology.